Go. Thumbs up if you like that intro. Welcome back to my channel, guys. As you can tell from today's video, like, I am shook. I'm not even shook. I'm shook guess, okay? Back in the day when you think about 99 cents, so you know, you thought about the little roll-on lips, lip gloss, you know what I mean? But this is ridiculous. Like, Shop Miss A, I'm gonna need you to square up as Jackie Ines says. Like, this is ridiculous. This is amazing. Like, I can't, I can't even, I'm hot. I can't even begin to tell you how shocked and pleased I am with these products. Now, um, it's gonna be like a show and tell type of thing. This face, can, this highlight, this highlight, this highlight, guys, I'm looking at the viewfinder, I can't stop. Our dollar highlighters, one dollar, my friend. Everything on this site is one dollar. Uno dollar. One dollar, my friend. Okay, like, I can't even, I can't even. I did two orders, okay. I see Shot Miss A video and hauls going around YouTube a lot now. I saw it way back when, when uh, Platinum D first swatched her stuff. And I watched that so again. And I was like, okay, let me place the order. So the first order I placed, I got a milk sheet mask. A AOA, which is their brand. They do sell, all right, Shop Miss A is a website where everything's a dollar. They have jewelry, they have accessories, they have panties, okay, they have um, faux piercings. You guys know um, I used to wear, and I still do sometimes, faux septum piercings. They have jewelry, they have hair accessories, they have makeup. They carry other brands, but AOA is Shop Miss A's makeup brand, an A2O, if I'm not mistaken, a studio lab. So... I got, like I said, a milk sheet mask, because sheet masks are fun. I got a AOA Diamond Lip Gloss in Girl Power, which is what I'm wearing now. I absolutely love this lip gloss. It does look a little, little girlish, you know what I mean? If you're not wearing like a face of makeup or you're just choosing to wear like the lip gloss on top of some chapstick. It's a little, it's a little childish on its own, but honey, with a whole face, it's sitting like I can't, I can't get over this highlight. Anyway, I got a AOA Perfect Setting Powder. Their Matte Translucent. I got their Wonder Brow in Ebony. I got their Wonder Baked Highlighter in Snap, which you see on my nose, my Cupid's bow, and on my beautiful four and a half head. I got the Paw Paw Charity Super Soft Wonder Blender in Sculpted. Uh, let me just say the Paw Paw Charity is a charity that they have on their website. The stuff is a little bit more than a dollar. Like, the sponges are $1.55, but that $0.55 cents goes toward an animal charity, and they're pink. Now, let me tell you, the sponge has me shook. I'm going to insert a clip of how it is damp versus dry, and I chose to use that shaped sponge because it is very reminiscent of my beloved Real Technique sponge, which I have recently put to rest. May she rest in peace. She served me well. That was my ride or die. I don't like the beauty blender. That was the home skillet. But this this is one this is one dollar and fifty-five cents. Like granted a beauty blender I feel like is a sponge that I, I personally don't do not like to use on myself. I'll use it on a client if they ask me, but that's a whole twenty dollars. A whole twenty dollars. These sponges are one dollar and fifty-five cents. The real technique sponge, don't get me wrong, is not expensive at all catch it at Walmart for maybe like five six dollars but like this these sponges are one dollar and fifty five cents two just think about two for three so I can get five sponges for the price that I pay for the real techniques roughly yes ma'am I got some eyelashes their studio eyelashes in Natalia which I am wearing right now when I tell you these lashes are awesome First of all, I'm very I'm a fan of the style of lashes. My favorite style of lashes, honestly, are ones that flare out on the ends and they're kind of wispy. They're in between like a wispy, demi-wispy, but they have to flare out on the ends. These are 
so light. I can't even feel the fact I'm wearing, sorry, I keep like sweat, sweat mustache is hot. I can't even tell I'm wearing lashes. They're very fluttery. I absolutely love them. Matter of fact, we're going to rename her. It's not going to be Natalia. We're going to cross out the N and the A and we're going to put an I. Yeah. Alright, I got the Paw Paw Charity Super Soft Wonder Blender in Teardrop. This shape is the one that looks most like the Beauty Blender. I got some Kara lashes. I got a highlighter brush, the S119, which I absolutely love. I used it on this side of my face, and you'll see why in the demo. I used, I used, I got a set of sculpting brush duo. I got the F10 and the E110. I got their plush faux mink brush set, and let me tell you, these brushes are so soft. They're so soft, like I can't even begin to tell you how soft they are. <laughs> I'm literally at a loss of words. I'm usually more eloquent, a lot more eloquent than what I am right now, but I'm honestly shocked. These have to be one of the softest brushes, set, brush set I've ever tried. Drugstore, high end, you understand? Like these are so soft. I bought the All About Eyes Paw Paw Charity Brush Set and Holder. These are the eye brushes that you guys see me use. They come in a little hold, which I absolutely love. And believe it or not, even though I'm not a fan of pink, you know, I'm blue all day. I'm, I'm, I'm with the pink vibe, you understand? Like, I'm not, <laughs> I'm with the pink vibe. I got a liquid eyeshadow, the A20, which is another one of Shop Miss A's own makeup brand. I got a liquid eyeshadow in Thermo. I have an A20 Lab Empty Magnetic Palette Large Matte Black. This was $7.50. I don't want you guys to think this was, this was $1. This was $7.50. But as you can see, I house all my Cosette Infinite eyeshadows, which you saw me use in my last video, and they fit perfectly. For $7.50, that's way more doable than a Z palette. I think the Z palette are the Z palettes are rather way overpriced in my opinion. I got some eyelashes in Wispy. These are some other Cara lashes. I got a peach oxygen bow mask. I thought it would be fun to try on camera. It's actually two treatments in one, so there's two masks, so you can use it twice. I actually really like sheet masks. Like I said, they're fun. I started incorporating them into my skincare regimen. If you have not seen my skincare regimen, I will definitely link it down below, as well as everything I am mentioning. I'm going to put my first orders item list first. Did I just spit? And my second order's item list. Second! <laughs> my second order, I got a couple of other things because, you know, you always want to do a small order, especially with a company you've tried before, just to test the waters. And I was super obsessed with everything that I purchased the first time. So, for the second order, I got their banana setting powder, their brightening setting powder, and their soft light setting powder and honestly I can compare the banana the weight sitting on my skin to the Sasha buttercup powder and this is a dollar guys like I'm gonna keep saying that throughout the whole video this is one dollar okay and I got the rest of all the AOA diamond lip glosses in conjunction with a re-up on girl power just in case just in case I happen to run out one day when I really need to have girl power boom I got it back up okay I have a blackhead remover tool. <laughs> um, it's actually funny because I actually really watch Dr. Pimple Popper. Comment down below if you guys watch Dr. Pimple Popper. And I don't know, like there's two types of people on YouTube. People who watch Dr. Pimple Popper and people who don't. And <laughs> I watch her a lot and I wanted an extraction tool, you know. I don't have a lot, of, I don't have pimples right now. And I pray I don't get any, but if I do, I'll be excited to try that. <laughs> I got uh, more of the Paw Paw Charity Super Wonder Blenders, but I got it in the sculpted kind. Honestly, I like all three of these sponges, but the sculpted is the only one that they had in stock. So I, I got a lot of those. I'm not even going to lie. I got a lot of those. I stocked up. I also purchased their mini wonder blender in black. These are very comparable to the baby 
beauty blenders not the baby real technique sponge because the baby real technique sponge are in the beloved beloved beveled beveled my bad Be beveled shape that the original sponge is in so this shape is more comparable to the baby beauty blender i got the the item i am most shook it over which is their wonder baked highlighter in freesia that is what you see on my cheek honestly this is so comparable to the fenty matchstick and trippin i'm actually going to swatch that right now this is trippin okay Trippin' is actually cream. Oh, I wasn't thinking. I should have put Trippin' on first, then put this freaking highlighter on. And when you see it, it actually looks more pink than it, you know, actually pulls. But it actually a little, it's a little bit more pink than the Fenty, which... Focus. The Fenty is on this side. She pulls a little more orange. Ignore that waterproof eyeliner stain. She's a little bit more orange, and this is fresh. Freesia? Fresca. Fresha. Can't say that right. This is one dollar. This, what you see, this sickening, blinding glow that I cannot get over is one dollar. Like, I literally cannot stop applying it. it. And they are so smooth. They're smooth. They're not chalky at all. I will recommend, um, scraping up a little of the first layer just to you know get it going and popping and i like snap don't get me wrong i like snap snap is more my speed that's my gold but i am probably going to buy all the highlighters now i'm not even going to lie like if shop shop miss a if you see this and you want to bless a sister i got the go brown mascara in clear um she's clear for the most part she did leave a little bit of white in this eyebrow I haven't used a brow gel, but because I got their sculpting brow pencil in Ebony, I decided to get a brow gel. Personally, I'm not a fan of how this pencil is shaped. It is shaped like the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, brow definer, as opposed to the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow whiz, which is what I am accustomed to in a pencil. Of because my skin is super duper oily, I mean like chicken grease, come here, let me moisturize your hands type oily. It, I find this pencil to be a little too waxy for me, but the pencil with the pomade works pretty good. And let me tell you, the pomade I really like. I like my brows dark and cool, and even though these are both in ebony, they're not black and they're the perfect color. So I will use the pencil with the brow pomade, but... I like the brow pomade better and it's one dollar it's one dollar it's very comparable to my black radiance brow perfecting pomade in blackish brown which is my holy grail i like using pomades on my brows as opposed to pencils if you guys want to see a brow tutorial definitely comment down below that's something i take very seriously if my brows are not up to par granted they're not like the best right they're not the best right now because I'm, you know, I have two different, basically two different products on two di on both my brows. But I love this brow. This is a brow pomade. Definitely, you know, comment down below. If you have any questions also with these or update, you want to update on these products, comment down below. Um, I got a flat definer brush, which I didn't use. Uh, eyeliner blending brush, which I didn't use. Crystal powder. A 12-piece crystal powder set. And a 12 piece diamond powder set. These both retail for $10. So you're getting 12, 12 pigments basically and 12 glitters for $10, which is not bad. And I'm wearing one of them now, which is absolutely gorgeous. It's it's a lot better than what I expected, I'm not gonna lie. And I got two other eyelashes. I got one in Lula and one in Chloe. And I got a black head clearing mud mask, which is the one that you pull over. Overall, I am one thousand percent please my favorite products out of everything um honestly i'm a fan of everything except that brow pencil just because it's a texture and a shape that i personally don't like but i'm pretty sure it will work for someone with dry skin or even someone who has a little bit more brow hair my problem that i have with brow pencils is that they don't some of them don't show up on skin 
You understand? A lot of them adhere to brow hair, but if I don't have no brow hair, I need to fill in my brows. I need to adhere to my skin. You understand what I'm trying to say? I'm a fan of everything. I'm a fan of the powders. I'm definitely going to re-up on the powders. Definitely going to re-up on the powders. I'm going to get all the highlighters. I'm obsessed with this highlighter. Oh my gosh, I love the lip glosses. I'm a fan of everything. The lashes and everything. There's really nothing negative. I could say about anything that I bought I love the uh, I love the price point you know how McDonald's used to have those commercials I'll oh, be a dollar millionaire honey you could be a millionaire on this site you have a good you could you could get so much stuff for fifty dollars you can get so much stuff for twenty five dollars you can get twenty five things for twenty five dollars you can get fifty things for fifty dollars you can get a hundred things for a hundred dollars you understand like I am so pleased with this company you will definitely see me using all these brushes now I don't honestly don't I honestly don't want to use any other brushes the only thing I wish is they had a small eyeliner brush because you guys know I usually use my little paint brush I got from Walmart years ago let them get that brush and it's over over all my tools will be shop miss a you don't understand comment down below what you guys think oh my gosh oh my gosh thank you guys so much for watching make sure to check the description box for all the products that i use and if you have any questions comment down below definitely check this site out it's college girl friendly college girl budget friendly it's broke girl friendly it's i didn't get my check but i still need to look cute girl friendly it is budget friendly and you honestly get the most with these products and i'm absolutely obsessed with them i've been telling people about them and believe it or not there are a lot of people out there who do not know about this site and i pray that changes after this video